Hey folks, this is Angela. Just giving you a little extension on the house training chapter from my book, Raising Dogs with Common Sense, starring Bammer today. <laughs> if you'll notice, I have the extra large kennel, but it is attached to an exercise pen. In fact, the whole thing is put together with zip ties and boards. If you don't have heavy furniture to attach your exercise pen to, it's okay to use a chair. You can use free weights and use bungees to connect to them. The reason I have a board going across here is because my puppies love to shred puppy pads. So I keep them boarded down with weights on them. And I'll layer the puppy pads so that if it's late at night or early morning, I can just snap them up and go. As a rule, your dog is going to want to go outside to potty. So I suggest having your enclosure pretty close to a door if you can. Otherwise, you'll need to just pick him up and head out as soon as you get to him. For small puppies, I give them a little step stool and I use the food and water dishes that attach to the crate with screws. It's really, really handy. For older puppies, I still make a little stairway if they're short, but this works great with any age dog. This catches the leftover food and water that can be spilled out. It's a very sanitary way to keep things. I protect my dog beds with a single bed mattress protector. It goes around there at least twice. Then I take a single bed fitted sheet or any size fitted sheet. You can wrap it around and around. Top it with a blankie or a towel. This makes for easy cleanup. If they accidentally step in poop and then they drag it back on your dog bed, it's not nasty and uppy bed. If you're going to let your dog have a chew bone, which they have to chew to be able to lose their baby teeth, Use blunt ends, nothing that they can chew off and get choked on or cause a stomach blockage. Safe toys only, toys that can't get down their throat, and toys that make them want to just chew, chew, chew. I do take things like this up at night because if that goes through poop, that's really, really hard to clean. Rope toys are okay with supervision only. I also take rope toys up at night because you don't want that to go through poop and you certainly don't want your puppy chewing on that and aiding a stomach blockage. So this is only for supervision times. Floor cleanup is so easy. This is a roll of linoleum. My friend Sherry introduced me to getting linoleum in the puppy areas and I just love this idea. Thank her for that. Whole twenty dollars at Roses, and I can cut it to 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 fit. Okay, very very important. White vinegar, easiest, safe, cheap, great cleanup. I just take the cheapest wet uh, wet wipes I can find, like baby wipes. I undo them and put them into separated into a container, and I just dump white vinegar on it and a little bit of water. That's great for cleaning the floors, the toys, anything you need to clean up, and it air dries nice and sterile. And it's non-harmful to your baby. For the puppy, I use either chlorhexidine or witch hazel. This has a combination of them. This is more wet wipes. I just separate them in a container, pour some chlorhexidine on and dilute it with water. This is like a medicated bath, folks. You can just give them a little sponge bath in the mornings if they run through poopy or anything. I always like to clean my dog's coat, especially their feet and their ears, first thing in the morning. And then during the day if they need it. It's like a little medicated bath, no rinsing necessary. Nice and sterile. I like my bench here because I can store the food and any snacks or whatever. Big old dip cup is very handy to refill waters. And that's about it, folks. But everything in my house training chapter still applies. Just the older I get, the more I love this. All right. Peace out. Say peace out, Bammer. Come here.